for most of human history, growing plants indoors or in a controlled environment has been a great challenge. Uh, traditional lighting systems like incandescent bulbs or high intensity discharge lights were inefficient, bulky and expensive to operate. And they still are, I mean, compared to modern LEDs. Um, they also emitted heat, which could stress plants or make indoor growing a costly endeavor. LED lights also emit, emit heat, but not even uh, close to the, the same amount. Um, LED stands for light emitting diode, and they've been around for a while, but in 1992, when a Japanese inventor named Suji Nakamura invented the first efficient blue LED, Indoor grow lights that were once expensive, specialized tools slowly became affordable, accessible, and energy efficient. LEDs have transformed horticulture, allowing gardeners, researchers, and just plant enthusiasts like you or I to grow in ways they never could before. And these advancements aren't just helping people grow bigger plants faster, they're also pushing the boundaries of botanical discovery. By controlling the light environment, people can explore new ways to grow more species, experimenting with unique growing conditions, testing how different wavelengths of light impact everything from flowering to fruiting to disease resistance. In a sense, you could say that anyone growing plants under LED lights m might be standing at the forefront of botanical discovery, and I think that that's beautiful. In the 90s weren't that long ago. I was born in the 90s, and I see slow-growing cacti and succulents in collections under LEDs online that are much older than I am. I think that it's easy in this world to get jaded and start believing that everything has been done already and that there's no room for discovery, whether it be with like plants, animals, sea life, fungi, or other abstract comparisons like music or other forms of art, both in art and in plants, there is just endless possibilities for discovery. And I, and while I think it's important to some, sometimes be humble and admit when a scientific consensus has already been reached on something, it's also important to remember how full of beauty and wonder the world truly is and possibilities and how valid and important of a piece you are within it. I didn't go to college and I moved out when I was 17 and started living on my own and I don't have any desire to go to college for botany, but because of the times we live in and the technology available, just like when a kid finds a fossil on the beach and calls archaeologists and gives to science, someone like me could be at the forefront of discovery by accident. Somebody like you could be at the forefront of discovery by accident, and that gets me excited. After moving out in my teens, I have since learned a lot about plants and a lot about music and done my due diligence and educated myself in things I find important, but I don't want this channel to be about me, but rather an exploration into the endless beauty on the horizon an exploration into the beauty in plants, the beauty in all of us. You don't need to know music theory to be a good musician, and you don't need to be a scientist to contribute to science. Every time I see a newly discovered plant online, my mind lights up with questions and wonder and a desire to have been there at the forefront of discovery. And in the modern day, there are a couple websites good for keeping current on, new, on the newest plants that have been discovered. And I can link them in the description if you're, if you're curious. So I wanted to show you the the inflorescences of the uh, Hoortheopsis limnifolia. This is two different plants in one pot, um, and the the plant itself is self is uh, is not self fertile. So uh, it's cool that they're both blooming at the same time. It means I might be able to get some seed off of them. The stalks are really cool. They come out from the center, and the flowers to me when they bloom look a little bit like the flowers of Letiboria socialis. They're kind of long long sort of trumpet shaped uh, flowers maybe for a long proboscis or a hummingbird I'm not sure and uh, this is my monstera and it's making a new leaf and I've really enjoyed watching it unfurl over the past couple days it's it really I mean it grows fast compared to the other kind of plants that I grow so, um, are you listening about Rosie? Yeah, be sure to kill what do you think you're doing? it's the driven snow who played along but <laughs>